those are massive ships. Um, uh, the energy they bring for a collision like that is just beyond our understanding with respect to sort of boat traffic or any of us that have been on kind of a, you know, a, a, a small, small boat or ferry or something like that. These, these, it's, it certainly would not have been designed for a direct strike of that magnitude. The thing that strikes me most about the this bridge is that uh, it does not seem to have any uh, peer protection. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, probably, I, I can speculate for two reasons. One is that it's an, an older bridge before we used to put in those protection systems. Or, or also it just might be that locally the, the soil or other conditions are such that it was very difficult to do that. So if we go back to the collapse of the I-35W bridge in Minneapolis, which I have not mentioned because it's a different kind of thing where it was actually a problem with the bridge itself. Mm -hmm. um, that one a, was quite an exceptional uh, effort and it was rebuilt in about a year. But I, I, I'm thinking that uh, the best that they can think about here, it, it's about a year. And the big problem here uh, as opposed to the one in Minneapolis, is that uh, you have to keep the port open. 